check in with your mind. You should check in with your mind all day long. But now's a good chance. You have no other responsibilities, nothing else you have to do. So look thoroughly at the mind. It's quality of intentness, citta in, in Pali, is an important part of the meditation, that you give full attention to what you're doing. Because after all, the Buddha says we're suffering because of our own actions. And we have to learn how to see our own actions clearly. But there's a part of the mind that keeps diverting our attention someplace else. It's like that old question about the finger and the moon. The finger's pointing at the moon. And some people say, well, don't pay attention to the finger, pay attention to the moon. But then the question is, well, why is the finger pointing? Why is it pointing away from itself? The mind will try to divert your attention. It's like a politician. You focus on one thing, it doesn't want to see that, and so it'll tell you somebody else, someplace else, is doing something wrong. Anything but to admit its own lack of skill, its own lack of honesty. So be very careful to look at the mind and watch out for the times when it's pointing away from itself. Keep looking back, back, back at the mind itself. And that's where you see what's really interesting, how we put our experience together. In some ways we do it well, in other ways we don't do it quite so well. In some ways we do it honestly, in other ways not so honestly. So you've got to watch thoroughly and you've got to watch consistently. Because there's that tendency where the mind doesn't want to admit its own mistakes, and yet it's only when we admit our mistakes and decide that we're going to correct them. That's when we have some hope in the practice. So when the mind is suffering, you ask yourself, well, what is the mind doing that's making itself suffer? I read someplace, someone saying the Buddha wanted to put an end to all kinds of suffering. So no matter what's causing it, whether it's things outside or things inside, you have to fight all the different causes for suffering. That's not what he said at all. You look in terms of the Four Noble Truths, the cause of suffering comes from within, samudaya, origination. When he uses that word, it's almost always causation coming from the mind itself. So look at the suffering that comes from here. The good thing is that if you can solve this suffering, then you've solved all the suffering that weighs down the mind. If the mind were being weighed down by things that other people are doing someplace else, you'd have to go straighten out the world. And the world doesn't want to be straightened out. As for your own mind, there's a good part of your mind that doesn't want to be straightened out either, but there's a part that does. So side with that part and watch very carefully. Give your mind your full attention as you can. We try to maintain mindfulness as we go through the day. And it's important that we do to give a sense of continuity so the practice can build up momentum. But it's when you give your full attention to the mind, that's when you see things you didn't see before. So think about this quality of intentness. When you do something, be very thorough about watching what you're doing, and you'll be able to learn.